That's Greg Zahn, never shy about sharing his opinions on baseball and other stuff. And the way the offseason has shaped up for the Blue Jays, he's sure to have just a few of them. Greg is in Calgary tonight to speak at the UFC Dinos baseball fundraising dinner. We are very happy you're here this morning. And might I also add that you are a Canadian Screen Award nominee. Well, yes, I was uh, fortunate enough to be recognized uh, personally and also with the show. And uh, it's been great. It's nice to, to see that uh, somebody thought that what I'm doing out there on, on camera is uh, worth some recognition. And uh, like you said, I'm really not shy about my opinion. Sometimes it rubs people the wrong way, but uh, I really don't care. Well, you know what? And I'm going to follow up on a conversation that we were just sort of having uh, while we were sitting here. Uh, you have ruffled feathers in the past. J.P. Aaron Sebia most recently had some, you know, got his knickers in a bit of a nod over comments that you made about his play. But that doesn't bother you. you said, this is what you are paid to do. Right. Uh, you know, the network pays me to analyze, you know, people's performances. And it's uh, sometimes difficult for today's player to understand that it's never personal. Mm -hmm. It's only professional. Uh, I'm doing the same thing that their coaching staff is doing, the front office is doing. The only problem is, is for them, is it's public. It's made public. I get to analyze what they do on the field, and that's it. Uh, you know, I played a long time. I've been around the game you know, my entire life. My uncles were both professional baseball players. Uh, I, I was on a, a World Series championship team. My uncle played in three World Series. I've seen what it takes to be a champion. I understand how to play the game properly. That never changes. The game's been around for over 100 years. It never changes. The difference between today's player and generations past is they're not held accountable the way we were. Yeah. as players. Uh, they're not used to being criticized like we were. They're not used to being evaluated like we were. You walk into a major league clubhouse today and 99% of the time it's all about the positive reinforcements. But what, okay, so why? Is that because that, you know, we're very focused on sort of anti-bullying and we want to, the positive, the positivity? Well, maybe, That's but the problem, the thing is, is we're not talking about children. We're talking about supposedly grown men. And if I have a business, if I own a business and my employees aren't performing up to snuff, I get to fire them and move on and have somebody else. That's the whole point. It's competition. This is not, uh, you know, come and we'll pat you on the back and we'll hold your hand through it all. Uh, most of these kids grew up in a, in, in a climate where they got participation trophies just for showing up. Right. You know, you and I, we grew up in a world where if we won, if we did something excellent, we were recognized. Whether it was a, a gold-plated piece of plastic or, uh, you know, in your case, maybe a microphone or something <laughs> like that. You know, somebody gives you a gold record or, or whatever. If you win, you get the baubles. You get the trophies. You get the, the rings. This is what we were brought up on. It's about competition. It's about striving to be better. These kids nowadays, they show up and they expect to be recognized for being there, and they don't want to be evaluated honestly. And the other thing that's killing them is this Twitter and Facebook, mm -hmm. you know, great, great pieces of media, awesome, you know, avenues to get your word out. But if you're a professional baseball player or any athlete and you're going home and you're reading what these people are saying as they type away in their mother's right. basement, Mm -hmm. You've got problems, and it's affected some of the Blue Jays players negatively. Okay, well, let's talk about the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays, for all intents and purposes, uh, won the offseason last year. Um, clearly didn't work for them during the regular season. Not much movement during this particular offseason. What's your take? Uh, you can look at it a couple of different ways. Right now, I'm looking at it in the way where I say, you know what, the deals that Alex Anthopoulos made last year, I would have made them over and over again, and for one reason. Jose Reyes. Mm -hmm. I don't care what Mark Burley does. I wouldn't pay, I w I'm not going to pay him $18 million this year to win 13 games for me. But if the Jays are the kind of club that they should be, you're not really worried about it because Morrow's doing his thing. Typically, you would expect Ricky Romero to be a 15-game winner, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, R.A. Dickey. Um, 
he's basically biding his time. I think I, I like what he's done. There weren't a whole lot of guys on the free agent market this year that were worth the dollars that they were going to garner. Mm -hmm. And so why go out there and spend money just to spend money to say, oh, hey, I'm making a splash. They tried that when, when Richardi was the GM. They brought in a good friend of mine, Frank Thomas. Well, you know what? That lightning had left the bottle the year before in Oakland. So there's no reason to go out and just spend money to spend money to make the fans feel like you're doing something. Mm -hmm. Is it going to make their team better? Not really. Uh, there's a couple of guys out there, interesting names like Ubaldo Jimenez, uh, you know, Irvin Santana. Are they going to make the team better? I'm not sure. The money that they're going to get paid is premium. You know, they're going to have a mash unit competing for spots in the rotation with, you know, McGowan and Hutchison and Drabeck, all these, you know, guys that have been carved on the last few years. We'll see how it goes. But, you know, I applaud Alex for his restraint. Yeah, the team hasn't done a lot this offseason. They haven't gotten a whole lot better. But you would imagine that with the names they have on the roster, if they just play up to snuff, up right. to their typical performance they should be a lot better than they were last year all right well this is just the tip of the greg zon iceberg you can uh, catch greg tonight at the dinos baseball fundraiser at six o'clock at the red and white club more information on breakfast television uh, .ca. tickets i understand are still available can we just go out on a shot of your rings please all right. by the way one here we let's get it closer one happens to be a world series ring and one is my wedding ring Aww. yeah it's number three for me and she's a championship <laughs> wife so i bought Bought myself a championship ring. Yes. That's my wedding ring. Yes. Give our uh, regards to your lovely wife, and it's <laughs> always great to see you. Greg's on every.